Hello everybody and a very happy Easter to all our supporters in Britain. My name is Father John Bowles, I'm the Regional Director of the Local Superior of the Columban Missionaries here in Britain. Uh, wishing you a happy Easter, although uh, as we all know it's difficult to, uh, to think of joy and hope uh, and resurrection in the face of all these images that are reach, reaching us from Eastern Europe and Ukraine with death and destruction to the fore. So how can we keep ideas of hope, of joy, of Easter happiness uh, in our minds and in our hearts within this context? I was thinking that maybe we could look at an example in, in, in the recent past because uh, unfortunately times of conflict are not new but there have been inspiring figures who've helped us overcome those feelings imbued in us by such events. The person I want to concentrate on is Saint Oscar Romero. He was Archbishop of the city of San Salvador in the little country of El Salvador itself one of those tiny nations in the Isthmus of Central America in the 1970s and at that time Central America in general and El Salvador in particular was also a place of great injustice and conflict not too dissimilar from how the Ukraine is today. Oscar Romero became Archbishop of the capital, San Salvador, in 1977 and immediately began to declaim, um, call attention to the gross human rights abuses that were being committed by the military government in power at that time which was trying to cling on to power through a program of repression, violence and murder against its own people. Even though he knew his life was at risk in the same way as Jesus did uh, in the temple, he knew it before his passion, Oscar Romero continued with his condemnation. He received warnings but he didn't flee, just like Jesus didn't flee. He knew his death was imminent, as Jesus knew his death was imminent. And it came while he was celebrating Mass on the 24th of March 1980. Shot dead by one bullet as he was leaving the lectern at the end of the readings. However, in one of his last speeches, he prophesied his own death. And he said that if he were to die at the hand of evil people, he would rise again in the hearts of the people of El Salvador. And so it happened. Ten years after his death, a peace agreement was signed. Conditions improved. A Truth and Reconciliation Commission identified the perpetrators of the crime. Subsequently, Oscar Romero was declared blessed and in 2018, saint. He was canonised by Pope Francis and has now become a shining example to those in Latin America and the world who are striving to bring light and justice in the face of evil and repression. So he can be our guide. He can be our inspiration. He can keep us going and allow the joy of the risen Christ to rise in our hearts and overcome the suffering of the present world, knowing that in the end, hope will always conquer fear, life will conquer death, joy will conquer sadness. Happy Easter.